What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This is Weight Work with Andrakeel. Today, we're back with another arm day. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, we are doing arms. But what we're going to target, last arm video I posted, we uh, knocked out some hammer curls. And what we did with the hammer curls is we went across the body, which are actually my favorite form of doing hammer curls. But you know, there's so many different things that you can do. Uh, we're going to talk about some acute variables here in working out. So one of the things with working out, I run into a lot of people who are like, hey, I plateaued, what's going on? And then when I asked about the workout routine, nothing has changed in a year. So you got to change stuff up. All right, so let's talk, since we're doing arm today, let's talk about hammer curls. So if I'm doing these for a year, I'm going to see some growth. I mean, everybody's different. So let's say six months down the road, I'm noticing I'm not getting stronger. I haven't changed the weight to push myself any. I'm not getting bigger. What's going on? I'm plateauing, all right? So let's change something up. So instead of knocking out hammer curls like these, which actually target your biceps, but also your forearm, we're gonna switch it up a little. So we're gonna go in this way, all right? So we're gonna do hammer curls this way but let's change some stuff up with that. So let's say instead of just doing alternating, what if we're doing them at the same time? What did that change up? So you could do them probably about right here. You don't need to go up any higher. We're not activating our, our shoulders. We're strictly using forearm because we're gonna pull it up. And all we're doing is shortening the muscle here and extending back, all right? So we're gonna go like that. Well, let's switch that up. So we see these going. Well, let's, what we just do? You're going five times, boom. Now you're holding it. So what are you doing? You're really shocking your muscle. You're shocking your brain because your muscle is not used to holding any weight. And once you have weight in there, now you're adding resistance to it. So your muscle is not used to holding it. So what you're doing is you're making it activate. You're forcing it to stay in this position while you're working the other muscles. So your arm will be like this. And then once you tire this muscle out by actively working, now you're forcing this muscle to hold that position. So what you're doing is you're actually fatiguing your muscles a lot quicker, which is actually going to cause more growth a lot quicker. So you didn't change up the workout. All you did was change up how you did the workout. So if you're doing them like this, and you could do them the same way if you're going this way. Change it, of course you can't go in at the same time, but maybe do 10 of these. And same thing, you're fatiguing that because instead of alternating, you're giving that slight second rest while you hit the other one. You're targeting them back to back to back to back to back. So you're not giving it that time to rest. You're doing it, you could do a five times switch, five times switch, or you could do it straight through 10. Try it out, try some stuff out. Another way that you could do those hammer curls, you could actually do them in a chair, lean the chair back, so all you have is your muscles to work with. Lean it back, get that good stretch in there. And that's actually the one I'm gonna do today and I'll show you all that, so check it out. So once you get your chair, what you're going to do, you're going to get you a good incline in there. Get the dumbbells. You see how my arm is extended? All you're going to do is pull up. So you're causing more of a, of a length of work, that time under tension. So you're making your muscles work a lot better. So as you saw, I did that. That was really controlled through the motion. What I don't want you to do is get in the habit 
of throwing in the momentum. So don't jerk your shoulder up while you're doing it. Because what you'll notice is the more your muscles get tired, your body's going to start adding in other muscles to help you do the move. All right? But we don't want that. It doesn't hurt it, but in this exercise, what we want to target is your bicep and the forearm pull. We don't want the shoulder or the back getting in there by jerking it up. That's why I really like the chair because it really focuses and forces you to use what you got. So if it's something you haven't done, start light, go lighter in weight, build yourself up. You could also do these with resistance bands too. So if you're not in the gym, you could still knock these out using resistance bands. So we're gonna get after it. All right, so moving along, what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do a different form of bicep curls. We're gonna use a cable machine now. What I'm showing you, you can actually do with resistance bands. So if you're not at the gym, that's cool, don't stretch it. Use it with resistance bands. You wanna post it up on an anchor and you can do the same workout. So what you wanna do, you wanna make sure your feet are set while you're doing these. And all you wanna do is lay back, hit your bicep curve. You really wanna go for full extension on this one with this one. We're not gonna do a partial range of motion, we're gonna do the full range. So you want it all the way down, but don't let it rest on your, your leg like I'm doing this long. So the actual move is gonna look like this. You wanna keep your elbows in as close to your body as possible, because as soon as you extend it, you're gonna add extra muscles in there. We're gonna target the biceps. So keep your elbows tucked into your body. There you have it. Okay, so we're gonna move right into knocking out some triceps. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna brace our back on this pad right here. I like doing them with the rope because at the end of the motion, once I get all the way down to the bottom, I spread the rope out, which really gets your traps activated even more. Um, some people like doing them with the bar, which is the bar you go right down. I like doing this because as you push out, you're activating more of your tricep with it. So you'll notice with a workout like this, whether you're facing this way or if you're on the one where you have to face the machine, you'll notice you're going to start activating your core. And the reason being is because you're adding a lot of weight from this location. So your stability muscles all in your core, you're using all four of your ab muscles to keep you stable throughout the workout. So if you notice, as you're doing this, your core starts tightening up. That's where it's coming from, that's what it's doing, because your core is trying to keep you, and it's trying to fight this resistance that now your body just threw on there from this abnormal position. So try these out. I know a lot of people like to talk about doing sit-ups and doing all these exercises to build your core, but you could build your core in so many different workouts, you just gotta know what you're doing. So. Here we go. Now you don't wanna go all the way up. I've seen people go all the way up. Right now, we're all about targeting our triceps. So we're gonna keep the tension on there. We're gonna go right about here. We're gonna push back down. As you see in, in the end, I'm spreading that out a little bit more. 
lower the weight back. So it's all about control. What I was trying to emphasize on here, if you come up like this while you're doing the move, you're taking, the further up you go, you're gonna start slowly taking tension off your triceps and activating muscles you're not even working. So if you're up here at the end of the workout, you're now activating your shoulders and at the weight rest, you just took the rest off of the tricep. Time under tension is what we're going for. So I like to do about a 90 degree angle, probably here at the highest because you still got that tricep activated and push right back down. You don't give it time to rest. Only time you rest is in between sets, all right? So next one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the tricep pull down. And all you do with this, you get your handle like this, underhand grip. You wanna brace yourself, or if you do it standing up, that's fine. But brace yourself, and all we're doing is pulling down. And that's really gonna target that tricep. Like I've said before, I really like doing, working individual muscles, because a lot of times, if you work a move, let's say if you have a bar, you're doing the tricep press, it's really hard to tell which muscle is activating more than the other. So, you know, if you do them individually and you see one's weaker than the other, then you could add more reps, you could add more weight, and you could knock, it up, knock them out like that. So that's why I like doing this because doing this I actually found out that my left tricep is a lot stronger than my right tricep is. So we're gonna knock these out. Smooth motion the whole time. 